So uh, I'm reading Dante's Divine Comedy. Um, you know, the first time since I was uh, a, junior, a senior high school student, such a long time ago. Uh, you know, at the time I had a really great friend called Akira Wani, and Akira Wani was genius, and he actually scored the highest point in the you know uh, university entrance common exam in that year. So he he was a really wonderful guy, and he used to read uh, the Divine Comedy. Uh, many many times, and you know, he used to say that uh, reading Dante's uh, magnum opus gives him such an intellectual and emotional thrill. Uh, that was the kind of person he was, and so you know, those outside Japan probably wouldn't know that Japan is a country where you can uh, get a translation of the Divine Comedy uh, like this in this format. It's called a bunko format, and you know, it's quite convenient. Uh, this one is from. Uh, Kawate Punko, and uh, you know, these are the Japanese translations. Of course, that doesn't make any sense to you, I am sure. Um, the reason why I'm reading this is uh, because of a novel that I'm writing. This time in Japanese, um, you know, it's uh, kind of related to uh, the Divine Comedy in a remote sense, so I am reading this for inspirations and so on. Anyway, um, so, you know, Japan is a country, very interesting country. Uh, I have written two books on Japan. Uh, Ikigai and Nagomi. Um, these are, you know, books that are deeply embedded in Japanese uh, culture. But at the same time, in through the uh, process of modernization, Japan was influenced by the European culture in a really big way. And, um, you know, it used to be that uh, the Japanese intellectuals had access to all the important works in Europe. And, uh, of course, Dante's Divine Comedy is one of them. So, um, you know, it's a really interesting country. I mean, when you uh, look at Japan from outside, people, you would be looking for sushi and kabuki and manga and anime and so on. But um, the other side of the coin is that Japan is a country where uh, many influences from outside world have uh, enriched the indigenous culture. And um, I have been touched by many European um, and American, of course, and <clears throat> other culture, and of course Chinese culture as well. But in the process of modernization, the influence of European culture has played a really wonderful uh, part. And this is a masterpiece, and so I'm really looking forward to reading it. And hopefully, I will be talking about the Divine Comedy uh, in some form or another in the near future, while I try to finish my unfinished novel. Maybe it will remain unfinished for many, many years even, but anyway, there you are.